good morning from the chilliest town in America. Actually, it's, what's the temperature, Peter? It's 54 degrees. We have the windows open. It feels really nice, but I really, I really think this is going to take some getting used to, and it's only going to get colder. This living was pure anarchy and chaos. I just leave a meeting and I come out and Sarah demands a sandwich from Jewel. <laughs> I did not demand it. James apparently wants to come with, but it's his nap time. Those are moccasins you've never seen before. Those are nice. It's not as windy today, so the waves aren't as crazy. But you can still tell that the lake is like swelling up on this side because it is still, you're not able to run or walk on that, those bottom two there because it's just continuous like that nothing crazy you know like 20 foot waves just put in a few miles today um this has definitely been one of my like more beginner training plan like i mean outside of like i don't mean that in the sense of like my long runs but like my midweek runs this training plan i've been following has been very like lax compared to the previous ones i've done um i don't think i've gone over six miles during outside of my long run um but this Chicago is like gonna be an enjoyable marathon. I'm just gonna be eating up the crowds the whole time and the sights and sounds. Uh, after Chicago, when we start preparing for wine and dine and dopey and princess, that's when high mileage will come in, like extreme high mileage, you know, better eating, a lot more time on my legs, because that's probably the most important thing. It does not matter the speed, but just the amount of time you can get on your legs. And uh we're gonna see if we can break that two hour mark again for the half marathon come dopey or princess, depending on how we feel. That's the goal, um, long term. I'm just so excited for an in-person race. I'm like so excited that it's Chicago and we're like 15, 16 days away or something like that. Well, 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 look at this big, he's got sweatpants on and a collar, hi. Just swinging away. Hanging out with dad, giving mama some time to quietly edit the vlog. Yeah. So it's around 5.30 and I got back from the run, took a shower, cleaned up and everything. Sarah finished a nap with James. I'm sure she'll touch point on how she's feeling, but it was a, a more tired of a day. You know, there's a lot going on in our life. And some days you just have days that don't go as you planned and that's perfectly okay. Just embrace it and own it. And so we're, I asked Sarah if I could take James to the park, maybe go get a donut or something. Just kind of enjoy. Look at this boy's blue eyes. Sorry, my, that little jump there happened. Sarah's phone, I have hers because mine was dying. Um, her phone is almost out of storage, so I had to delete some clips. <laughs> 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 you getting bored of this or what? Huh? He was due for a bath tonight anyway, so he may have his his preppy collar on, but we're gonna play in the sand pit. What do you think? Not in your mouth, please. You're right, that's how you dig. You go like that, in the ground. You're right, you do find cool stuff sometimes. Oh, gotta do maintenance on your truck. Well, you are smart. Did you just see that there was sand in the truck and then you went to go put more? sand in there but it's just getting all over you instead the evening has turned oh i don't know he stopped doing it he started putting the sand from the truck okay into the bucket
right tool is broken. What are you gonna do now? Where do you wanna go? You wanna go play on the slide? You wanna go back to the swings? We move from playing in the sand to playing the wood chips with these toys that are left in the park. You say the word and we'll go get coffee and donuts. Okay? You like the wheels? He loves wheels. Is that a cool truck? Yeah. I don't know what that handle does. Oh no, you're covered in dirt. <gasps> He's watching me go crazy with my feet. You turn, your turn. Hey. Hey. That other sock. Oi. Shake it, shake it, dance it, dance it, dance it out. Say dance and dance it, dance it out. He was just chilling. And then right as I pull the camera out, he's got to grasp his viewers dear life and start dancing it out. Dance it. Say, that's my dad. That's my son. Together. We'll swim together. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've left the park. We're gonna hit up our local stands, donut and coffee. I'm gonna grab a cup of joe and a donut for me and James to split. Maybe something for Sarah, just in case she doesn't end up meeting up with us. But I'm excited. Do you want a donut? You ready to have a, a sandwich and some hash browns? We got a donut for dessert and one for mom. But we're waiting for a hash browns and our plant-based sausage sandwich. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah, James. We got a hash brown. We have a sandwich. A sandwich is not plant-based, but the sausages. And then I got a coffee with some oat milk. You're so excited. Delicious. I don't know what kind of bun that is, but it's very soft and I like it a lot. It's not crunchy like some other breakfast sandwiches. You want to try some breakfast sausage? Plant based? <laughs> what do you think? Delicious? I have it turned on him, so he usually doesn't see himself. You see that baby? You are a big kid. Oh! Any guiding people out there, What at what age do you teach your child to not stare? He's 10 months old and he loves to stare at people. To the point where, look, he'll be perfectly content one moment, he'll take a piece of hash brown, and then he'll see people walking past behind him He'll twist his head like an owl and stare at them while they walk across this whole sidewalk. Mm. <laughs> we are inside at a food establishment. <laughs> Food's that good? Come on. before we hit the road. One of Dad's favorite songs is on by 
John Legend. Look at that face. Boom, a classic glazed donut. What do you think? I think we need more napkins. They got the good jams in the stands tonight. We were just like slouching back, lounging, having a good old time. What are you going over there for? He's kicking. Yay! You've had the best cup of coffee. You've worked so hard for it. Do you want this? Victory! All right, we're back on the move. James did have an, an outfit change, um, but I think he had a good time at stands. We're gonna try to stop at the grocery store for one little pickup before we head home. Haven't heard from Sarah in a while, so hope that's going well. And um, I think because he is due for a bath and he didn't have the best naps today that I'll probably head home after the grocery store. But it's a good little trip out with just James and me. All right, we got some chicken tenders, some tater babies, and I got sir these like folly flowers that we're gonna get in the vase when we get home. This boy's still fighting a nap. He slept like two hours today, nothing. So hopefully after a nice bath, he'll have a good night's sleep. All right, so we're back home. Sarah's got James. These are the flowers we got. And the trick with these kind, when you buy them from like a Jewel or a Publix or whatever, is you need to trim a couple inches off the bottom, give it a fresh cut, get in a vase with some water right away, and that helps um, them blossom, it helps them give them some fresh life, and they so they can just suck up good water with a fresh cut off that stem. So I cut it open, and if we're lucky, sometimes these places, yep, here it is, plant food. So it'll give you the basic premise. It actually says, so one poured in the vase, mix in the water, cut an inch off the bottom, and put them in there. Actually, it's a little backwards, I could rinse that off. Got that full of some water. I'm gonna pour this in, mix it up, and we'll cut off a little bit, make it fresh, and we'll organize to make it look pretty. Just a big kid, you know, eating some tater babies on the couch. They're back home with me. I finished editing the vlog. We got a little beggar dog over here. She looks innocent. But she does not allow one to eat in peace. What do you got on your head? <laughs> Evie. <gasps> Evie. And here we have the finished product. Sarah's mom actually be a florist. And so she's taught me some tricks over the years and I'm no, I'm just some Joe Schmo, but I like to think that I can arrange a decent floral arrangement in a vase for Sarah. So let's go find a spot in the living room for this to go, away from the pup and away from the babe. The boss has spoken, here's its home. Also, all of that is gonna go into storage or we're gonna take care of and put it somewhere. Um, the goal is by James's birthday. I just rustled this bag. And the beggars are coming running. <laughs> and the beggars come running. Mm. Someone's on the side. <laughs> okay. Um, tacos are a little bit challenging to draw. They're not. These donut drunk. Oh, God. Let me just get are a Are you doing mommy's hair? This donut. Does not look good, but it tastes divine. Look at it. Looks Look at it on the screen. Yeah, that looks like the best donut I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> it's filled with delicious Boston cream. <laughs> James. Okay, you reenact what you were doing in Stan's. James is a fan. Were you naughty in Stan's? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh gosh. That's what you were doing in Stan's. And every single person that walked in there. <laughs> I am did not have a good day and peter said that he said did i talk about it i haven't said a thing evie can't have chocolate um i don't know i tried all my usual things to shake myself out of it um
but I took a snooze with him. I got, I changed from yesterday's pajamas into today's pajamas. <laughs> so that was good, but I do feel fresher and I put my stork necklace on. <sighs> I mean, we talked a little bit about it yesterday. I feel like there's anxiety leading up to our, uh, our first ultrasound. They brought me, they brought me back flowers <laughs> and donuts. And I am feeling a little bit better now. Okay. I just wanted, I wanted to, to finish up my thought after that little bit of chaos. Um, but James is in bed now and Peter is washing bottles. Um, but yeah, I need to remind myself that, that I, you know, I can give myself grace and that I'm allowed to have days like today. Um, I struggled for a long time with like productivity and needing to feel accomplished and when my anxiety gets the best of me, I'm someone who just like shuts down, like sleep is a big defense mechanism that I have. But then a lot of the times I'm sitting here and instead of like resting, like my body's telling me I need to rest. I'm just thinking of all the things that I have to do, um, the checklist I need to complete, or even like, I feel like with having James, it's like, I finally have this baby that we dreamed and wished for so long that like, I need to be doing things. I need to be like having a plan for the day and I need to prep his, you know, him to eat the best foods. And it's just, it's not, I, I know that those things are okay because I'm okay with, I'm very much so okay with the life that we've created, the lack of schedule that we are basically on. I mean, we kind of just go with the flow and that's really, really worked for us. Those those thoughts that I suppress, I do a really good job at managing and, you know, Peter and I have such confidence in um, in our actions. Sometimes those thoughts, they win. And today was just one of those days. And none of the tips and tricks that I have used for as long as I've, you know, struggled with my mental health were, you know, were working. And so editing the vlog kind of rewired me back in I like did like some small tasks that made me feel accomplished um like changing my outfit putting away laundry that sort of thing um and of course you know remembering that we've had quite the year and just getting back like now we're just in like normalcy and it's a completely new normal than we've ever had before I mean we had already severely switched gears by moving back to Chicago at the beginning of this year and then you add on everything else that has kind of you know been thrown at us so just need to you know remind myself that we're still we're still figuring that out and I think Peter said that you know just giving myself grace and you know not being hard on myself for days like today I'm definitely rambling um but yeah this is the type of anxiety <laughs> that I, um, that I deal with regularly, but I, I do feel like I have really been able to have a handle on it over the years. Today, I am so grateful for Peter and James and Evie for making, turning the day around. Um, but also another important thing that we will be establishing with this new normal is going to therapy, which is something we've actually never done before. Um, I mean, I truly believe that everyone can benefit from seeing a therapist, but I've just never walked the walk. Um, so yeah, I will keep you guys updated on that and we'd love to be held accountable. Um, so yeah, that is, that is today in a nutshell. Again, I'm feeling much better. Um, and we are watching Amy Schumer learns to cook, which is like another thing is like, just, I genuinely just laugh like this queer eye even just like Jonathan Van Ness like moments on YouTube I'll watch um to help when I'm in little ruts like this but not all days end better than they started so I'm grateful for that today um and just your reminder that being a human is hard and just as much as we're here for you guys you guys are here for me with us doing this vlog so Okay, end of ramble. <laughs> Look 
how cozy it is in here. Earlier today when we showed it, it was all a mess. It's nice in its place. What kind of creepy movie are you watching? It's a TV show, actually. Nine parts. Oh. Called, I think, Squid Game. Ooh. It's from Korea. I love Netflix. Korean things. My new iPhone. I was going to say, does your new iPhone way? come tomorrow? Yeah. Yay! That's fun. Yeah. I got to do some storage on mine because I'm not getting a new one for a long time. And we could up get upgrade your cloud. I don't think I have a cloud. <laughs> it's good to be it's home. Good we know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.